Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2! Since last time, I made some minor changes to my setup. I uh, got the Vigor Ring on Hero, because some of the enemies coming up are going to be able to paralyze you. Same thing with uh, Ronfar there, so give him the Fresh Ring there. Uh, I gave the Chiro Crests to Hero this time around instead of Lamina, because the only enemies that are actually weak to magic... Lamina will probably be faster than them. Yeah, she is. So, yeah, there's no point. And, uh, yeah, most enemies are going to be re highly resistant to magic. So, Lamina, she's pretty much dead weight for this area. But giving the speed to Hero will help him get ahead of some enemies that are much faster than him. Uh, let's see, Ronfar, nothing special there. Just uh, put him back in the mace, that's all. Let's see... I think Jean is pretty much identical. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And Lamina, I gave Magic Eye Crest instead of the Tiro Crest. It doesn't really matter what wand or staff you give her. Uh, she'll be not really doing a whole lot, except like one enemy has a weakness or something for us to exploit. So, yeah. But we'll be okay. So, let's see what we got going on back here. Remember, there was that door. Well... The door that we couldn't open before. Well, now we can. So let's go. Whoa! I thought there were no enemies up that path, but I was wrong. Whoa! These guys are scary. Not just by how fast they are, but just their scream or whatever they do. Holy cow. Okay, so let's head on through the Black Dragon Cave. See what kind of enemies they got around here. Yeah, I remember those guys from the first game. But anyway, here we got zombies. And they are actually weak to physical attacks, oddly enough. So, all we gotta do, let's see. Okay, if you see the zombie just kind of standing there, it's just going to, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, it's just going to attack you normally. If you see its mouth opening and closing like that, that means it's going to try and paralyze you. So, actually... Why don't you go for the one up front there? And Lamina, yeah, there's not really a whole lot she could do. Maybe give her a magic staff? or yeah, They're still resistant to it anyway. Well, whatever. But anyway, between Hero and Jean, we can kill these guys without taking any damage. That's why I gave them to Hero, because the zombies, oddly enough, are really, really fast. They got a really high speed stat. So, you want to watch out for that. But otherwise, yeah, we're doing good here. Ooh, healing that. I could use some more of those. Probably should buy some sooner or later. Alright, here we got a couple more new enemies. We got uh, Webhead back there. The only enemy who actually has an elemental weakness. When you see it kind of pulsating like that, that means it's going to try and drain HP from someone. If it's just kind of sitting there normally, it'll just attack one character. And then we got uh, Nipple Yanker's cousin, the Soul Yanker. Let's see, when you see him uh, just kind of tapping his staff there, that means he's just going to attack normally. If you see the orb on the staff uh, glowing there, he's going to hit you from range. So you want to watch out for that. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to have Hero go with a good pose sword. Um, the, I almost said Nipple Yanker, but no, um, Soul Yanker. Gene to take care of the three zombies. And if somehow they're not dead, I guess, um, hmm. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, Flame Shot ought to be good enough. Webheads are pretty much immune to, or weak to all elements. So that's pretty much the only time Lamina's ever going to be useful. But that's okay. Man, having those Chiro Crests on uh, Hero really helps out. Looks like Webheads are strong against regular physicals, so just use a good uh, Flame Shot. They do have 245 HP, so I'm pretty sure that even with just a regular staff, or single targeting staff, probably won't be enough to kill them. So, good idea just to use the MP and be done with it. And for defeating those guys, we can get up here. The Lightning Staff. Multi-targeting variety. So, alright. Good stuff. 
Huh? Couldn't get around that guy. Oh, well. How many more do we got around here? Well. Oh, well, there's the last new enemy. Might as well show him off. Or I could be completely wrong on that. For some reason, I thought that enemy sprite was the last new enemy around here. But, nope. Nope. Still gotta look around for him. Oh, well. Let's see. Yeah, let's go here. Okay, and here's the last new enemy around here. The Chaos Fiend. I thought they shared the same sprite, but I wasn't quite sure. Okay, so, anyway. Let's see. For the Chaos Fiend, when you see him holding his staff up like that, he's going to attack your all your party members. And if, uh, uh, what is it? Yeah, if he's just holding his staff normally or lower, uh, then he's just going to attack one person. So we need to take him out quickly. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's kill that guy. You can kill that guy. And let's see, I think a good Dragon Palm ought to be able to take care of him. And then the Soul Yanker, they're going to be immune to everything. And I don't want to sit through another spell animation, so... I'll just have you defend there, you know. Yeah, not a whole lot you can do there. Pretty much, yeah, everything except webheads are resistant to magic. So, by the way, uh, Chaos Fiends have 300 HP. Just to keep that in mind. Could have done it with Poe Sword too. Might have been a better idea to do that. Maybe I could have had Jean attack the one zombie and then the other Soul Yanker, but I don't think she could have finished them off. So, and I didn't want to take more damage, so put a little more MP into it. But anyway, the rest is relatively easy. I guess you could attack uh, Lamina. If somehow all my other characters whiffed at them. But, okay. Wow, that was like five battles just to get these two chests. The Force Ring. I have no idea what it does. It just sounds cool. It's just a clever name for an accessory. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Where the heck is it? Um, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess it's just magic defense or something? Hmm. Where's the force ring? Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, it doesn't say how exactly it works. I guess it makes you resistant to elements? Like, an enemy would be resistant to magic or something? Uh, I don't know. I never use it. It's not really a big deal. So, let's see what's down here. Okay, took care of all the enemies on this floor. By the way, I tested out a uh, Poe Sword on a Chaos Fiend, and Hero could not kill it in one shot. So, yeah, Blue Dragon Palm, that's what you're going to have to go with. So, oh well. Chaos Lord? No, that's another game we use. But anyway, if you go up here, well, we get a weapon. Uh, Star Dagger for uh, Lamina there. You could give it to her, and if you attack an enemy with it, you'll drain some H or not M HP, M MP, but it's totally worthless as far as I can tell, so I wouldn't even bother. There's a much better item that I want to get for Lamina around here. Now, you see that purple stuff? Guess what happens when you walk on it? You take damage! And it's basically negligible, although I did take a lot of damage in the battle with the Chaos Fiend when I couldn't one-shot it. Okay, cleaned up this floor. By the way, uh, I got up to level 43 for Hero on the previous floor, actually, and got a third attack multiplier for him. So, all right. Not that that's really going to help us, because zombies only show up in groups of five at most. So, yeah, getting an extra multiplier doesn't really help. It doesn't even boost the power of Poe Sword. So, let's see, I think this is just a dead end. Yeah, yeah, it is. But, if you go up here... Looks like another dead end, but it's not. We have a hidden treasure. The Stardust Ring, which I want to give to Lamina. Basically, it's the same thing as the Healing Ring, but it restores MP. So, all right. So, let's get through all that and go on to the next floor. This is where it gets a little confusing, but that's okay. Is this one empty? Oh, okay. Never mind, then. Oh. Carry on. Ah! 
Okay, another small section of the floor, but we get another angel's tier. Not that I really need it, but it's there. So might as well take what it can get. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Uh, whoa! Okay, cleared out this half of the floor. I like when they do that with JRPGs, where it's not just like one floor and then move on to the next one, and it's all in sequential order. And, you know, once you fi finish one floor, you forget about it for the rest of the dungeon. But there, I've got something that, well, yeah, I'm probably also going to forget. The Hunter Crest. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Uh, yeah, it does that. Uh, I think that means it increases your evasion, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't really care. So, I'm not really worried about that. So, I'm not going to use it, but you can if you want. I also like it when JRPGs make the towns more than just... Well, used more than once in a game. Yeah, that's something that this game does a lot. You go to one town, solve their problem, forget about it for the rest of the game, pretty much. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. But it would be nice. Okay, took care of all the enemies for the rest of the dungeon, I believe. So, yeah, there's no treasure around here, at least not to my knowledge, so let's head on up to the end. Oh, I should probably uh, change my setup here, shouldn't I? Okay, let's see. Hero, I actually want to leave... Er, well, oh, wait, no, 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 I'm thinking of something else. Uh, I want to give him Magic Eye Crest, because well, the boss coming up is going to be uh, very strong against physical attacks. Uh, let's see, let's just keep the Vigor Ring on him, because, well, we can get paralyzed there. Uh, let's see, with Ronfar, I actually want to give him the Chiro Crest, so that way he can heal us very quickly. Make sure he's got the uh, Fresh Ring on, because we can be paralyzed or put to sleep. Lots of bad stuff. Let's see, Jean, keep, him, keep her on the Luck Ring, that'll do. And keep her on the Warrior Crests. Or, well, I, oh wait, no, I'm thinking of something else. Uh, no, we want to give her uh, Wind and Thunder Crest to get the Thunder Wind combination for that one. And Lamina, I'll leave alone. I actually equipped her with a Star Dagger just to try it out. Yeah, it's totally worthless. Um, I could give her whatever staff. It doesn't particularly matter. And let's see, healing. Let's, oh, wait, no, no, no. Um, yeah, let's have Ron Fire. Do the healing. I was thinking of using an item to save the MP, but nah, Ronfar should be fine. And I'm gonna need some more MP for Hero, so we might as well use a couple of those on him. Well, one probably would have been enough, but I'm pretty close to my max supply anyway. So, okay. And yeah, let's just save there. Make a backup save file just in case. Well, good thing I made that backup save file. I forgot. I need to uh, rearrange my party. So let's send Hero to the back. Run far. Up front there. By himself. Same thing as we did against the... Uh, whatever that Phoenix boss was. And, okay. With Lamina, I almost forgot, too. Uh, I want to give her Gauss's necklace to help with uh, paralysis there. So that ought to do the job very nicely for us. Hmm, I'm thinking if I want to use a start, uh, what is that thing? The, uh, starlight. For some reason my mind was completely blanking on that, but, nah, we'll be fine. Okay, that ought to be everything now. And you can tell we're getting close to the end because we can move around really fast. We don't even need to dash around. We got another starlight there, that'll be pretty useful. For boss time against the Black Fiend. Now when you see his, I don't know if those are his arms or wings or whatever in the back there. They're spread out like that. He's going to try to steal MP from your entire party. It's pretty devastating, but I think we'll be alright. So let's see. I'm gonna, I want to show off some of these combination crest abilities. Although it is more expensive, it's not really efficient, but... Now, the thing with the Black Fiend... Oh, yeah, I got a uh, Divine Litany. That basically gives everyone HP regen. So, that's pretty nice. 
But yeah, with the Black Fiend, he's strong against physical attacks and he has massive defense. Whoa! I hope you're not susceptible to seizures, viewers, because a lot of his attacks do that. I'll never forgive you! Hmm, maybe I should have used that attack on Mun. Oh well. Eh, not bad. The single targeting attacks Dodge deal this. nearly as much damage and they cost way less, so I'm gonna stick to those. Especially since this guy loves to steal my MP. But yeah, even if I used, uh, what is it? The defense debuff that I get, had from G Fractured Armor, that's it. Even if I used that on him, it, I still wouldn't deal nearly enough damage to uh, make it worthwhile to use physical attacks. So let's just keep on going with Cross Boomerang. Looks like we're doing pretty good otherwise, so go with Anger Dice. And, yeah, I guess Lightning Ring, whatever. It's better than whatever else you could do. So, yeah, the Black Fiend's probably the hardest of the four that we gotta fight because, I mean, not only is he strong against physical attacks, but he has no elemental weakness either. Spoiler alert, we're gonna have to fight a fourth one for the Red Dragon Aura, or Crest, whatever we get. Dodge this! Well, at least Lucia can contribute to the fight reasonably well. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. When he, uh, when his wings are closed like that and his head is down, that means that he's going to use, well, the attack he just saw, which will suck in everyone around the target. So if I had three characters in the front row, they would have all gotten hit by it. And then it might have tried to paralyze you too. So you want to watch out for that. Okay, now you see how his wings are kind of have flames behind them or whatever? When you see that, that means he's going to, uh, what is it, attack your entire party and possibly paralyze them too. So yeah, he has quite a few attacks that do that. Um, hmm. You know, use a healing nut on yourself instead. Go with Wind Cutter, why not? Ice arrows are pretty much the best single-targeting magic in the game, as far as I know. Ahead. Maybe Catastrophe might be better, though. When we get it. But we don't get that for a while. Well, not bad. Yeah, they're all dealing the same amount of damage, Dodge so... This. But yeah, using that magic would be better than, like, Jean's uh, dances. So I'm not even going to bother with with that. Well, at least only Lucia got paralyzed. I'm not too worried about Jean getting paralyzed. I mean, that could happen, but... Yeah, she's not really contributing that much defense. Okay, now when you see his wings closed, but his head is arched up, that means he's going to uh, deal a lot of damage to one character. Might even... Uh, or wait, no, that's another attack. Oh, well, basically, same difference. A lot of his attacks attack one character and paralyze you. So, yeah, there's not really a whole lot you could do to prepare for stuff in this fight. So, yeah. Despite being the toughest of the bosses, there's really not a whole lot you can do. I mean, it's not like, oh, when he does this attack, you want to use Dispel. Or if he does that attack, you want to use Erase Magic or something or other. No, no, this one's pretty much a damage race. And, yeah, you basically pretty much do the same thing every round. Dodge this. You would think making, you know, a boss tougher would require you to use more strategy, but apparently not. Ow. Guess maybe I should have healed you, huh? Uh, Lucia, can you help out Ron Farm? I know he's not as good as Hero, but thank you. He did kind of leave the curse, or er, lift the curse off of you. So, yeah, you owe him. Now we're doing pretty good there. Okay, let's see. Now we're just back to the start here. Uh, you know, let's try De Destiny Dice. See if I can actually get that to work. Would be nice. Just to show it off. Just for fun. Little variety. Let's go with Odd. I'm feeling lucky with Odds. Hey, hey! Alright! 
Hmm, not bad, not bad. Probably could have given him a elemental crest to deal the same amount of damage guaranteed, but well, better than the sharp stick in the eye. But yeah, I f felt that I wanted to have the Chiro Crest on him so he could heal quickly enough. Oh well. I'm kind of reminded of the Black Dragon in Chrono Cross. Yeah, and the, like all those good black elements, the uh, Diminish. Black Hole was even pretty good, but oh man, Diminish is so good. But that's okay. That would be really good in this game, too. If we could do it, but we can't. Oh, well. Um, yeah, okay. Let, now I'll just stop screwing around and, uh, just keep on laying on the hurt. Lady Luck, be kind! This one probably takes the longest of all the dragons to beat, too, just because of his high stats. Ah, uh, Snake Eyes. Uh-oh. Is it time for battling seizure robots? It is! Uh-oh. Well, good thing Jean got her turn already. Might need to use a uh, starlight on her. Or Lucia could kill him. Destruction. Hey, hey all right! <laughs> I had no idea that that was about to happen. <laughs> oh, ooh, nice. More power. Yeah, it's just a stronger version of the one she already had before. So that'll actually be pretty useful coming up. Guess what element the enemies in the next dungeon are going to be weak to, viewers? But anyway, uh, where's the crystal? Or is this whole thing the crystal? Uh, Black Dragon gets floaty stuff, huh? Well, I suppose he's, I guess, like the Earth Dragon or something? So, I guess he can do that. I mean, that's how Neo Vein was floating around, right? We threw it at it? Huh, I didn't see it. I must have been uh, too busy thinking. Didn't even see him throw it. Oh, well. Okay, how's it going? The world is in imminent peril. He has? I didn't think he was back yet. I thought he... What, they were still working on that. I mean, I know he's been talking and kind of doing stuff, but... You know, we haven't seen... Many disasters caused by him. Kind of took a coffee break for, like, 90% of the game so far. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, I suppose not. How are you going to pull that one off? Oh, well, thank you. Ah, okay. Sounds like a plan. Well, we'll need all four of you to help us out. But all right, we got the Black Dragon qu Crest. Not Quest. Okay, let's get out of here. So yeah, basically what that does, I think it's like instant death to all enemies or something, but it... It's totally not worth it. It costs so much, and I don't even know how resistant enemies are to it. You're better off just killing enemies the old-fashioned way. It is your destiny. Okay, so let's get out of here. Now, in order to get back to our, well, dragon chip there, well, we gotta get out of here first, but unfortunately... We're going to have to go all the way back through the Zayback Mines. We have to walk all the way through there. So, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot we can do about that. But if you know a better way of getting out of here, let me know. But I don't think there's a whole lot we could do. Just go walk out the old-fashioned way. But where do we go to get the power of the Red Dragon? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar 2. This is HG Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.